Yeah, to go through this, we need 15 minutes. Maysoon Ulrich Gangart gets impatient with security checks in Jerusalem, but she'd never leave the city. The Palestinian journalist was born here. Every day she takes the 20 kilometer trip to work in Ramallah in the West Bank. Sometimes she has to wait an hour at the checkpoint. Gangat has started a radio station called Nisa FM. It's the only commercial radio station aimed at women in the Arab world. In many Arab countries, women theoretically enjoy equal rights with men, but many women regularly complain about sexism and discrimination. The reality for women here is not what many think, Gangat says, so it's important for women's voices to be heard. There is a very wrong impression of Arab women and possibly Palestinian women specifically. There's this stereotype image that an Arab woman is uneducated and she's like subject to abuse and violence and her, uh, her rights are not fulfilled and so on. I believe this is wrong. Firstly, we're very educated. We, uh, Palestinian women uh, have degrees in various fields. They fin uh, lots of them ha have finished higher degrees also, like masters and PhD, and it's normal. The host of the station's morning show is a trained journalist. Ten women and two men work for Nisa FM. The broadcaster aims to bring men and women together, not cause controversy, but it does broach taboo subjects. A taboo issue could be, for example, uh, abortion in our society. We do have it on air, we talk about it. But how we handle it is a little bit like we, we're not going to express opinion that we as Nisa FM are in favor of that. We create a discussion between uh, religious scholars, between a psychologist, a doctor on that issue. The reporters try to include men's views. About half of the station's listeners are men. The station also focuses on the economic problems in the region. Life is constantly getting more expensive, these men say. Almost one in five people are unemployed, and teachers have been on strike for the past four weeks. This reporter says women are accepted here in public, but things are different in the countryside. I was recently in the Jordan Valley, far away from Ramallah. I interviewed women there. Their situation is really bad, whether it's education, culture or the economy, they're controlled by men. The radio station doesn't just report on the constraints of tradition. It also features success stories involving Palestinian women. The broadcaster avoids the political conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, but it's always on Gangat's mind. I'm sitting here and my son is in Jerusalem and my husband and I are working in another city. It's also very um, worrying, especially after things that started happening, like I would leave him and I'm scared, like, will I know that I'll go back to Jerusalem that day? Maybe the Israelis decide to close the whole city that day. And then what's going to happen to the boy? Gangat says the constraints on the freedom of movement make it difficult for women there to get an education, find new jobs and start businesses. But that's all she's saying on the topic. Gangat is wary. She was already sent to prison shortly after founding her first station, Ram FM. But does she think women and men differ in politics? I believe that a woman leader ha would have more empathy, possibly, to some issues, would have more sensitivity and feelings. So yes, a woman touch in politics could add value, in my opinion. And not just there. Gangat hopes her radio station will increase women's influence in all areas of society.